Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade's Dr. Martin Luther King Day Observance. The theme for the observance is one that is recurring year after year, and that is remember, celebrate, act, a day on, not a day off. Please help me in welcoming the commander of 12th Combat Aviation Brigade, Colonel John Brown. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I wanted, I was at Wiesbaden on Tuesday, and I was talking to the entire 1st and 214th Battalion, uh, talking through kind of my state of the CAD, my uh, enduring priorities, but then I also addressed them about this upcoming weekend. And like many here in the, in the Army, uh, particularly in Europe, we have these four-day weekends every month, and it's always, uh, you know, on a particular uh, event surrounding it. Uh, but I asked them, you know, because I, I was looking out over the crowd, and there were many, many young faces. And I'm like, do you know what the weekend is? What's this four-day weekend we have coming up? And a few of them answered appropriately. And I said, what did uh, Martin Luther King Jr. do for us? And maybe a couple of older individuals answered. And then I, I charged them. I said, please, this weekend, you know, as you spend your time relaxing, uh, join your family and friends, think about and go look up, use your phone, Google, and find out what is it that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did for our country and for the way that we approach things now. With us today is the Osbach Terrace Playhouse Theater and the New Hope Christian Center Choir. They will be leading us through the observe for remembrance with song, and the reading of Dr. Martin Luther King's famous I Have a Dream speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Terrace Playhouse Theater in New Hope Christian Center. Thank you. 